If you're a landlord or a letting agent managing property in Wales, you need to know that big changes are coming. The Housing Wales Act 2014 will be coming into force later this year, and you need to know about it. Here is Solicitor David Smith to explain it for us. This bill creates the the very important new process of landlord registration, which will require all landlords, without exception in Wales, to register and provides for criminal offences if they don't, and will also require anyone who's involved in the management of a property, so that might be landlords managing their own properties or any lettings agent, to be licensed and to take part in continuous professional development and other key processes. And again, there are substantial penalties if uh, a landlord employs an agent who's not licensed or for people who are not licensed themselves. What will these regulations mean for agents and landlords? Arla MD David Cox explains. These regulations are going to mean that all letting agents need to be licensed and they need to be trained. Now, we're still not sure whether it's going to be 100% of letting agency staff or a percentage of letting agency staff, but certainly at least some people in every branch are going to need to have some form of training or qualification. They're going to need to be registered with a licensing body. The body, yet yeah, we're not quite sure who it's going to be. Landlords will have to get licensed, and if they want to let the properties themselves and manage the properties themselves, they're going to need to get accredited. Otherwise, they're going to need to give that property to an accredited agent. Douglas Haig, Vice Chair of the Residential Landlords Association, has more to say about the impact on landlords. Essentially, what every landlord will need to do is register uh, in Wales. Uh, If they own a property in Wales, they don't just have to be um, resident in Wales. The property has to be in Wales. If they wish to have any active involvement, basically, with the property at all, they'll have to get licensed, which would involve going on some sort of training, um, which is yet to be decided, and signing up to a, a stipulated code of practice, which is going through its final stages of being approved at the moment. So, And it's quite a big decision uh, to, to make whether you're going to have any active involvement, because the way the legislation is written, you will pretty much not be able to do anything with a property, with your rented property, unless uh, unless you are licensed in future, so it's uh, it's something landlords will have to seriously consider. However, the Housing Wales Act is not the only legislation that landlords and agents will have to get to grips with. David Smith again. It's important for landlords to bear in mind that, that this new bill is part of a larger package, and so this is only really the first stage in a wider process that will continue right through 2016 and into 2017, Uh, and will have the effect of completely reshaping the residential landlord and tenant market in Wales. So, big changes are coming. But where do they come from? Here is Professor Martin Partington, CBE. I'm Martin Partington, and I was Law Commissioner for England and Wales from 2000 to 2005, and I led, led a big project there on the reform of housing law in particular for the whole of the rented sector. What is going on in Wales is an extension of that work. Coming up next year is the Renting Homes Wales Bill, which is going to be presented to the uh, Welsh Assembly Government very soon, uh, which was the direct outcome of the work we did at the Law Commission. What will this further legislation contain? Here is Professor David Cowan of Bristol University. The key change really is that all renting a home's contracts are going to be required to be in writing and contain all of the terms that will be effectively compliant with the consumer regulation. Professor Partington explains some more. The second bill, the the Renting Homes Bill, will be a pretty major restructuring of the legal framework. The intention is to have the rights and obligations of both landlords and tenants set out in law. Most of that will already be in law, but what uh, the Law Commission did and what the new bill will do is to restructure that to make it a much more coherent package of legislation. And, And secondly, there will be a requirement that the tenancy agreements mirror the uh, rights and obligations in the legislation so that although 
the uh, tenancy agreements won't be written in what I would call lawyer's law. It will be written in plain language. The, the, the rights and obligations will be quite clear uh, so that both landlords and tenants will know exactly where they are. So why do landlords and letting agents need to know about this now? David Cowan again. Landlords and letting agents are really going to need to know what sorts of rights they can give and indeed not give. They are going to affect landlords and letting agents in in really quite a seismic way. The standard form of a short short shorthold tenancy that we currently use will no longer be relevant. Anybody continuing to use that or indeed not using a written contract at all will be in a little bit of trouble. So landlords and letting agents really must come to grips with with this new bill as soon as possible. Leaving aside the future changes, David Smith has a few warnings about the dangers for landlords of not understanding the new licensing rules. Well, the penalties are very, very serious indeed. If they don't understand what's going on, if they don't understand the registration and licensing process, they can be fined, and that will mean they end up with a criminal record. They can also be forced to pay back rent for the, last 12, for the previous 12 months. They can have orders made that will prevent them collecting rent until they sort out their position. And they will not be able to serve a Section 21 notice to evict the tenant. So there's, there's a potential position where a landlord could be prosecuted, end up with a criminal record, fined, forced to return the rent, be unable to collect rent, and still not be able to evict the tenant, all in one fell swoop, simply because they're not aware of these important changes. To help landlords and agents understand the massive changes coming their way, we have arranged for a conference to take place in Cardiff on the 15th of May 2015. Here is David Cox of Arla on why you need to attend. The legislation is changing really on a regular basis at the moment. Nobody is entirely sure exactly what the proposals are going to be. The conference we're going to see and hear from the very heart of the Welsh Government, the people that are actually making and devising the regulations that are likely to be the licensing organisations and therefore you will get it first hand the most up to date information directly from the Welsh Government at the conference. Douglas Haig well, I have to say I'm, I'm very impressed with the lineup of speakers that, that's coming to the conference. So you've got a really good range of people that are coming from the legal and technical aspect of things, which is always interesting. But you've also got some more practical speakers there as well as to, to really what this is going to do for you on a day-to-day basis, whether you're a landlord, an agent, or an environmental health officer, or, or part of the local authority. I think you'll, you'll get a good breadth of experience and, and, and information from, from the speakers that are there. And of course, with all of these events, coming across like-minded people, uh, that are interested in these things and, and it's surprising just how much you can learn from, from just being in a room full of people that, that are interested in what you are. The conference is being sponsored by TDS. Here is the Chief Executive, Steve Herriot. TDS is very proud to be sponsoring the Landlord Law Conference in Wales because we recognise that with the Welsh Government now developing its own approach to housing matters, that it's really important that landlords and lettings agents who work in Wales understand the peculiarities and the differences in the legislation that now exists between England and Wales. Let's hear a bit more about our speakers at the conference. David Smith. I've always been very interested in the devolved regions because there's a lot more going on there. Um, And so when the Welsh legislation came along, I looked at it very closely and I went to some very early conferences. And indeed, with a colleague, we hosted an early conference in Wales about this, which was heavily attended by the Welsh government and a lot of local authorities, as a result of which a great many amendments were made to the bill. So I've had a lot of engagement with the local authorities and the Welsh government from a very early stage in, uh, in the way the bill's been structured and shaped. David Cox. Arla's been involved in the legislative process for the new licensing scheme since its very inception. We were involved in the consultation, the discussions in the Assembly as the housing bill was going through uh, the Senate, and we sat on the working groups that are devising the secondary legislation ahead of the licensing scheme being implemented later this year. Douglas Haig. 
We at the RLA were invited to be part of the stakeholder groups for the shaping of each of the bills. So we've been part of it really from very early on. We've also had uh, numerous meetings with ministers, the relevant minister involved, which has changed three times in the process, getting feedback from landlords because we are a membership organisation, so the feedback of our members is vitally important to us and trying to understand what the consequence of the proposed uh, bills is going to impact on our landlords. And Professor David Cowan. I have acted, if you like, as a sort of go-between the people who are responsible for housing policy in Wales and the, the actual drafts person of the new Renting Homes Wales bill. And that's been a really exciting opportunity to see how policy gets translated into legal effect and to see how the different aspects of landlord and tenant law which have so troubled us housing lawyers for so long can be ameliorated through legislation. Other speakers at the conference will be Anne Rowlands of the Welsh Government, who will be talking about the implementation of the new legislation, Jack Rostron, who will be talking about the Residential Property Tribunal, and Mike Morgan of our sponsors, TDS, who will be talking about tenancy deposit adjudications. We will also have some very interesting exhibitors at the conference, including our lead sponsors, TDS, Environment, the Property Redress Scheme, ALA and the Residential Landlords Association, plus whichever local authority will be managing the licensing process in Wales. Let's finish with some comments from Professor Martin Partington, who will be opening the conference and also chairing a plenary session at the end. I think people need to attend the conference because this will be one of the first opportunities for landlords and agents and indeed solicitors in Wales to get an understanding of the frame of what is going to change both in the short term and in the slightly longer term over the next two or three years. They are going to be major changes. In my view, they're nothing to be frightened of. In fact, they should make the rented sector work better in the long term. But it is going to be necessary to take opportunities to see what is going on. I think it's fair to say that there will be a lot of change Busy practitioners, busy people don't like change, but if people start to become familiar with what is intended, then hopefully courses like this can help people uh, understand what they've got to do to prepare for the changes uh, that are going to, to come into effect and also to understand the time scale within which things are going to happen. It's not going to happen overnight, obviously, uh, so people will have time to prepare and people will need the training to help them be ready for the new legislation when it comes into force. Thank you to everybody who helped in the making of this video. Thank you to our media sponsors, Property Industry Eye, Property Investor News and Landlord Zone. And thank you for watching. For more information about the conference and to book your place, please go now to www.llconf.co.uk slash Wales. Thank you.